I would never pretend that the statue of a slaver in the middle of Bristol, the city in which I grew up, uh, and someone who may well have owned one of my ancestors was anything other than a personal affront to me. I'm not for taking statues down or street names because if you remove the evidence, you remove the deed. It didn't represent the blacks, you know. It just represent the hard time back there a uh, long time ago. We must do more than just talk about the future. We must take action. So I am directing the Department of General Services to remove the statue of Robert E. Lee as soon as possible. We have a democracy in this country. If you want to change the urban landscape, you can stand for election or vote for someone who will. Imagine what it's like as a black person to walk past a statue of somebody who uh, enslaved your ancestors. We can't erase all our history. If we don't learn from the past, we can't move forward. Where do you draw the line? Is it, should George Washington and Thomas Jefferson and James Madison be erased from history? What about FDR and because of internment camps? You know, he, should he be erased from history? Or Lyndon Johnson, who has a history of, of documented racist statements? was simply doing nothing more than promoting friendship and peace. And that should be well respected. And he should stay right there. Those people were killed is literally, they, they like never like this. I feel like we should replace it. Maybe we could put like a statue of someone else next to it. You know, maybe Austin Bego next to the statue, maybe above it to show that we have gone past Lorna, you know. But I don't think we should necessarily take it down. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that because it's a reminder of something that happened in the past and something we should avoid in the future.
Can you imagine Jefferson Davis, Alexander Stevens, treason, they committed treason against the United States of America and their statues are still here because their states put them here. you don't have to look too far across the world at the moment to see that similar events are happening all over the place. And we want to keep Hamiltonians safe. We didn't want the statue to be damaged while we have the broader conversation about what's appropriate. We're not perfect, but certainly uh, we need to respect those milestones which have made a difference in our history. I'm proud of the fact that we have the longest continuing culture on the planet here in our Indigenous population. Uh, I'm proud of the fact we have a, a, a colonial history, a migrant history, a history which res respects our veterans. Uh, all of these items have come together to form our state and our nation and each part of our history deserves that respect.